um, Baraka out of Canada is the sort of the lone freshman that you, your staff personally targeted. We are recruiting guy. David loved his game, went and saw him a few times over the summer. Um, you know, what do you see as, you know, a role for him being a freshman wanting to get him minutes and some exposure, but obviously understanding that, you know, there's a lot of veterans on this uh, roster. So ha- ha- what do you think about Baraka and ha- how do you want to use him this year? Yeah, no, it's funny. You know, we, we, we talked about, you know, uh, Jared being the first guy that we had committed. I, I want to say Baraka was probably the first guy who gave us a commit. And, you know, with the way he played, because he was originally in the 2024 class, and with the way he played through the summer, um, he, he took us through hell and back in that commitment process. We couldn't comment on it. We couldn't talk about it. Um, you know, we were <laughs> we, we were at the edge of our seats for, you know, what felt like the whole summer. Um, and, you know, that, that was a good thing just because he was being recruited at a high level because he showed so much talent. Um, and typically guys like that late, you, you don't get them at this level. Um, you know, he's mature for his age. He doesn't play and doesn't do things like a freshman. So I do think that IQ is going to give him um, – it's going to give him a chance. You know, again, he's another guy that can play both guard positions. Um, you got a bunch of guys that are interchangeable, and I think that just helps us. I don't want to have a guy that's, you know, just a point guard or a guy that's just, you know, a two. It just makes it a lot harder to get those guys in rotations and give them minutes. But, um, you know – He's been, you know, he's been, I would say he's been spectacular in practice thus far. He's young, man. He's got fresh legs. Some of these other guys are a little bit older. So I don't know if that's what it is, but he's definitely got the juice. He's got the pop. He makes plays for himself. He can, you know, make plays for others. And, you know, I'm I'm super excited, you know, about him. Love to hear that. Yeah, he so definitely Rocky has Br- a pop. He definitely has pop to him. Like it, one thing I saw in practice is that uh, he is, seems pretty explosive. Uh, and uh, can can jump, can get to where he needs to go, um, and it's uh, he's got good size uh, for for a point guard. Um, so I'm definitely like you, you say, is he act like a freshman ever? Like, or is that just kind of his demeanor? Like, are you seeing uh, the, the kid? This- the kid is the kid. The kid is a. I mean, he's and, and and he just turned 18 a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two ago. Um, so he's not one of those, you know, older freshmen, but. You know, he's got an old soul. He's very mature. Um, he's, he's a leader. You know, that's one of the things that we we, we watched early in the summer and fell in love with throughout, um, you know, the rest of the summer while he was playing on the circuit. It was, it was it was not easy, man, watching him, recruiting him, knowing that he's coming to us, but then watching the other coaches just kind of like, yo, who is this kid? Just because he just showed that much. Um, just, a, just a natural floor general that can really do – pretty much everything on the floor I mean, from an offensive standpoint and even defensively he gets after it. 